Herzlich willkommen. Welcome to episode 16 of our knowledge series Basics of Electrostatics. Yes, I announced last time that we were doing something really dangerous today. You know me, I have relatively little respect for electrostatics with our high voltage generators. Because I've already had enough, and I'm still the same as I was from the start. So it has nothing to do with the high voltage. It has never done any harm to me. But there is one thing I have a lot of respect for, and that is also one of the main focuses of the training we do. Just like the discharge on the surface. In the last episode, we also went through the fact that we can also charge plastic surfaces. And the whole thing becomes quite extreme if I take a foil like this. Now I'll take this foil and hold it up in the air. Then we take our high voltage generator and spray it on. You can hear a little bit, but only in the area where my hand is behind it. Otherwise you can't hear anything. If I go at it with the ball now, nothing happens either. This is actually quite logical, as the earth potential is missing. Why should the electrons now shoot from the tip of the needle onto the foil? They tend to go over to me. I noticed on my shirt how the load goes in my direction, but not forwards. It is completely different when I place the foil on this grounded plate. And this is exactly what happens relatively often when painting. There are some conveyor systems that are then protected with metal plates. And to make these metal plates easy to clean, you simply stick a film on them. But now we spray with electrostatics in the paint shop, to be more precisely, with high voltage. And then the following can happen. I now take the foil and place it here. I go over it again with my high voltage generator. You can really see how the foil is sticking. Yes. So. And when I come back with my grounded ball, a lot of electrostatic charge on it. The whole thing is called a propagating brush discharge. And what happened here, quite simply, if I now place the foil on and grounded or conductive surface, we have an ESD plate here that is grounded. Then there is an attraction for the electrons. They want to be on the plate. That's logical. And now we have this foil that prevents the electrons or ions from being able to get onto the plate. And now I charge the entire surface with ions and electrons. Both are conductive. In other words, I'm creating a conductive surface. And what do we have then? Then we have a classic plate capacitor. One electrode, the ions and electrons as the second electrode, and the foil in between. And this type of propagating brush can contain energy in the kilojoule range. And that really is potentially lethal. So here you can also see that when I touch the foil, it's only at the corner, and only when I have really wiped over it several times with the ball. So this is really important when spraying with high voltage. It happens during powder coating. It happens during flocking. It happens during painting. So please do not apply any films to conductive or dissipative surfaces. This means don't do this at home. It's dangerous. When does this not happen? There are actually two criteria. One thing is if the foil insulates less than 4 kilovolts, because then there is a breakdown and the charge can also flow through it. It is said that the whole thing starts at 4 kilovolts. And the second is when the foil is no longer a foil, but already a plate. If I put a 10 millimeter plate on here, then the attraction of the earth potential is no longer so high that we get a dangerous charge on it. It is said that from 9 millimeters upwards, there are no more propagating brush discharges. However, I generally advise against installing plastic plates on earthed metal plates. Yes, I hope, as always, 
that was a bit impressive and instructive. In any case, I also have a huge amount of respect for it, and I always prefer to let Olaf do it. That's what he's there for. We hope you enjoyed this one again. Stay tuned. Until next time.